out super super perfect make sure you guys stay tuned throughout the entire video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'm telling you right now i'm gonna show you how i got this Ooh, hey if you don't know me baby hey hey make sure you subscribe baby hey hey i'm telling you right now you are not off to better things you feel me and you're not gonna be able to elevate if you are not subscribed to my channel make sure you are subscribed but let's go ahead and get into it so you guys i am super hyped today i'm gonna be doing the coil array not this braid y'all and i'm gonna do it super super easy for those of you guys that are beginners like myself yo like i can't feed in like i'm so sorry every video i've seen on youtube have been feeding in the hair and it's just like yo i just can't get it so i'm gonna show you guys how to do the coil array not this braids no feed in okay i'll be using the crochet method and rubber bands and i'm telling you it's going to come out literally exactly like the people that are doing the feed in here is going to come out just as cute i promise you so make sure you guys stay tuned yeah and i'm gonna like yeah everybody i can't trust nobody don't invite me to no pull up in there Ooh. To be real, y'all, my motto is quick, simple, and easy. That's period, okay? If it's not quick, simple, and easy, I ain't doing it. I'm going to prep my hair for parting and I'm just using extra virgin olive oil and I'm letting my rubber band sit in the oil then I went ahead and I parted a section uh, the back section of my hair and I actually used the viewfinder in order to try to like part my hair so excuse me you guys it's not gonna be perfect but it got the job done <laughs> so I'm gonna have three sections in the back so back to the rubber bands and the reason why I let it sit in oil I let it sit in oil because it's going to prevent uh, rubber bands from snagging on my hair so if you guys are worried about like breakage or anything like that you can always let the rubber band sit in oil so I'm going in with that equal style and I'm putting it on the roots of my hair if you guys have kinky hair you already know you got to slick them bad boys down <laughs> with the gel okay so I'm just using a brush to go ahead and do that and I'm going to use uh, that rubber bands and I'm going to create a little ponytail and I'm gonna have three ponytails in the back and that's how I'm going to part my hair. So those three are already done and everything is looking super, super good as you guys can see. And now I have my whole head parted, sectioned off and I'm gonna be ready to braid. I'm just showing you guys I have three in the back. I have six on the next layer and then at the crown of my head I have three and then at the front I have three on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and oil my scalp. I'm using Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm going in with that extra virgin olive oil again and I'm just making sure the length of my hair is moisturized. And now for the fun part, you guys. So this is my first braid. So I'm using the crochet. I'm going in the middle of, my, of that rubber band and I'm pulling some hair through. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm using two packs of the hair. So if you guys, if you guys have any questions throughout this video, just like leave them down below and either I'll get back to you or somebody will get back to you. Okay, but if you guys can just like see what I'm doing, I'm pulling one side through and then I'm going up and down and I'm going to pull some more hair through that side. So you'll have diagonal and you'll have vertical. So I'm taking that hair through and i'm holding one side and i'm pulling one side through and you guys i'll have a better like visual of this later on in the video so make sure you guys just stay tuned it's kind of hard to like explain <laughs> so forgive me so i'm parting my hair in two and i'm connecting it to each side so the hair that i have at the top i'm bringing that over and that's going to cover the rubber band so it's gonna have that knotless look because the hair that was on top right there, the fake hair, I pulled it down and then I'm gonna just go ahead and braid. Like, let me know if that made sense, you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and braid all the way back. But yeah, it's super, super easy. I'll be showing you guys the same uh, visual 
I think two more, two to three more times so you guys actually see like what I'm doing, but it's super easy. I'm just telling you guys to just watch and you'll like see. So this is actually right here. This is the next day, okay? I have to take a little break. So I'm just going down and I am putting some hair onto the crochet hook. I'm pulling one side of the hair through. Boom, and I'm leaving that on the top of my head because that one is gonna be pulled down. So then of course you take more hair and you go through, you have your loop there. You're gonna pull one hair, one side of the hair through the loop. Boom, okay? <laughs> take your hair, split it in half. I'm taking my hair, splitting it in half. I'm pulling that top hair, the fake hair down and I'm connecting the top of the fake hair and that bottom fake hair together. And I'm just gonna go ahead and braid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and braid all the way down. I actually have another video. I did the same method and I used, um, I, I did it with Passion Twist. I'll show you guys that video. If you guys are interested, I will link that video down in the description box down below. But I am done and the back of my head is done. It looks absolutely amazing as you guys can see. And I'm just showing you guys how I secure it at the bottom. I just create one to three knots at the bottom just to make sure that my hair doesn't unravel. So I'm just taking a little piece and I'm just wrapping it around and I'm tying it and all is well and all is good. So some of the some of the hair is a little bit thicker, so you have to like twist it. I'm gonna show you guys right now. If you guys don't twist it well, it won't be able to go through. So like right there, like I had to like stop and I have to twist it because sometimes the hair is a little thick and you have to twist it and then put it on the crochet hook, put the flap down and then it'll go through. Boom. So there you go. So you guys can see I just sped this part up because it's basically the same thing. So if you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm just tying it again real quick for you guys. So I have both rolls done. You guys see I'm feeling myself. I'm super happy. Like, yay. <laughs> and this is actually really simple. And it was really quick, you guys. So I'm just showing you guys one more time. This is the last time I'll show you guys just how I secure the ends of the braid. And I'm trying to make them the same length and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Y'all, it was so early in the morning. I had to make sure my kids were asleep. <laughs> so I totally had coffee. Okay, so here we go again. And I just want to show you guys this time because um, you guys see how I had to twist in my hair previously. It was a lot easier when my hair was already twisted into two different, you know, separate sections. It was easy for me to like be able to grab it without seeing the top of my head. So that was just a little tip for you guys. Just to, like twist your hair up in two strand twists. And then you already have your strands separated for to be able to like, you know, pull them apart and braid. I hope that made sense. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and braid going down. So this is my last one, you guys. So I definitely want to show you guys how it looked really, really quick. So I'm putting the hair in. I'm going diagonal and I'm going vertical, ver vertical, vertigo. Um, <laughs> and I'm just braiding going down. As you guys can see, you can't even see the rubber bands whatsoever. No one will ever know. Like you use like the rubber band and the crochet method in order to achieve the koi ray braids. And y'all, your girl is like, hey. Hey, I'm just vibing like this is my last one. I was so happy. And we are done. My whole head is done. It looks super, super cute. Just showing you guys like, yes, 
all by myself and it looks amazing save me like what 80 bucks <laughs> from going to someone else to have my hair done and it's done exactly the way i like it <laughs> So you guys know Quayle Ray, not Liz Brace, has the curls at the end. So I have my print rods. <laughs> some of them were intact, some of them were not. But I'm going to show you guys I'm going to use them anyways, okay? Because we improvise around here. <laughs> so that's the one that was broke. And I went ahead and I just rolled my hair up. And I'm going to use a rubber band in order to secure that one. <laughs> ghetto fabulous around here hello and it still worked <laughs> so i'm going in i went ahead and i had some boiled water you guys can use a pot you guys can microwave uh your water in a cup and dip your hair but i'm going to dip my hair in order to get those curls make sure you guys have a towel please be careful on this part do not bring yourself as you guys can see i have my towel right there around my body over my shoulders because yo i've been there done that before <laughs> and yeah it's not fun okay the water is very very hot so be careful so i just let it sit in there for a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and just dry that off i let my curls dry a little bit but here you go i have everything dipped and ready to be unraveled and bada boom bada bang your curls is popping though your girl got curls <laughs> curls for the girls i went ahead and i cut the curls they were really long because my, the hair was really long when i was braiding it so i just cut it to the length that i liked it and yeah <laughs> So I have all my hair done. Super, super cute. Your girl filler herself. I like this cute. I like this cute. I like this hairstyle. It's really, really cute. It's really, really youthful. And it reminds me, I don't know, just give you that like youthful like look. And it's it's super cute. It could be done on kids, adults, teenagers, whatever. Like I like this hairstyle. <laughs> And now it's time for the edges. You already know your girl got to slay her edges. So I'm just giving you, showing you guys a quick clip of me doing my edges really, really quick. So edges are done. Edges on fire. Edges on point. Edges is just laid, slayed, and, and ready to get made. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm going in with my bandana. Just going to make sure I tack that down so my edges can just stay laid. <laughs> To add a little bit of size and a little bit of pizzazz, I went in with the water wave hair. I'm telling you guys, this took this look from a level 10 to a level 20. Like, the look was already cute, but the water wave hair made it so, so much cuter, you guys. You'll see. Freaking bomb. You guys can use water wave or deep twist. Um, they didn't have deep twist at the beauty supply store, so that's what I use water wave. So, I'll be popping back in. Bye-bye. <laughs> this coelho ray braids on myself no feed in okay and it came out absolutely gorgeous i added in the wavy hair to give it that fullness and that pizzazz and let me tell you baby your girl is fire i literally killed this make sure you guys like comment and subscribe okay and i will see you guys <laughs> hold on let me fix my earring <laughs> cute okay earrings is all off color okay they oh but guess what i'm still cute though <laughs> hair fire though okay like because we don't do no parties over here okay pull up in that oh it's a oh and they ask how i get that oh i'm a hustler baby ah i ain't gonna say no more because i don't want to get copyrighted okay but i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.